Well, just after studying the film yesterday and watching our football team, I, I thought that was our most complete game that we played on in all three phases. Uh, defense played extremely well, got us the ball back. Offense uh, took uh, advantage of some opportunities that were provided by the defense and special teams and took care of the football. Uh, we limited our penalties. And then uh, special teams, I thought, did a great job of creating some short field. And, you know, we had some outstanding performances performances by a lot of our guys, um, but we're starting to play well. We're playing fast. I thought we played very physical as a football team, and I thought we played smart. It got a little chippy out, out there after about the third quarter, but I thought we played smart and had some uh, self-restraint, so it was good to see our football team grow up a little bit. You want to hear Player, you know what, it, to me, I, I don't know if there's a better player that you got to scheme up more so than he, him, uh, if you're game planning. I mean, he had three tackles, two assisted tackles, three tackles for loss, three hurries, three pass breakups, and one forced shank punt. It's really, I'm sure when you watch tape, I think the funniest thing is that he almost stops and just looks at him as opposed to, and it's almost like, just the sheer force of him just standing there. Yeah, he, he gave him a little head nod, yeah. and the guy shanked the punt. But, I mean, he is so disruptive and productive. Um, and it makes so much, It makes all those other players on defense that much better. I mean, he frees up the linebackers, the coverage, the coverage guys don't have to stay in coverage that much longer. I mean, just him nibbling at the quarterback's feet makes it that much more difficult. Yeah, it's, you know, every game is so critical going down the stretch here in November. Uh, this game against Eastern Michigan is huge. It's our biggest game of the season. And uh, I know our pre players appreciate that and understand that. Um, so our preparation has got to be over the top for this, for this game because, you know, if you give yourself a chance to win this game, and who knows what's going to happen in that last week. But, uh, you know, it's nice to be in the thick of things in the, in the month of November. Yeah. Uh, I've had a chance to watch all their special teams and uh, quite a few um, different formation cut-ups in their defense, and I watched a little bit of offense. Uh, they're going to run the football at you offensively. Uh, their quarterback, they do a lot of quarterback runs, and they're trying to create a mindset that we're going to be a physical. They're going to be a physical football team. And then once you get close to the line of scrimmage, they're going to play action pass. So we got to have some great eye discipline in the back end and not try to stop the run all the time with our corners and our safeties. Uh, but they do need to get involved, obviously, so we can get those extra hats to the box. Uh, but they're going to try to run the ball, keep it close. Uh, defensively, they're a four-man front with uh, a lot of four in the secondary as well. Uh, every once in a while, they'll go to an odd coverage, cover three. Uh, they have a lot of good players. They run around. But I think the strength of their football team, just watching, is their special teams. Uh, very impressed with their special teams. They run around, they got speed, and they hit you, and they play with a lot of enthusiasm. So, you know, it's a, it's a formidable challenge for us in all three phases. Coach Eastern has uh, really in a similar position. You guys are chasing a division title. They need one more win to be bowl eligible. Where do you think they'll be at intensity-wise? No, they're going to bring their best. There's no question about it. I told that to the football team yesterday. They're going to come in there and they're going to have a high energy level. They're going to have a great execution level that they're trying to achieve. And uh, we have to be able to uh, overcome their first wave of energy and uh, settle into the football game. Because, you know, again, it's an emotional game for us, too, because it's our last time our seniors will ever take the field at Dick Stadium. So, you know, we're going to have to deal with our emotions as well, not only their emotions, but our emotions at the beginning part of the football game and really get locked in after. You know, because we're going to have parents down on the field, and, and I mean, there's going to be some tears shed. And then you got to get refocused pretty quickly once we kick it off.